Hey, what is going on everybody? Jerma here with the Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. And tonight, we're going to be playing as the Pyro with the Degreaser, the Reserve Shooter, and the Mailbox that I ripped out of my neighbor's yard. So today, guys, what I want to talk about is something important, something that I want to relay to you guys that's been going on in my life recently. And let's just get right into it here. I'm going to tell you the story about Slugman. If you don't know who Slugman is, Slugman is a guy in his late 20s, maybe potentially early 30s. Not yet, though. Not yet. Slugman's not 30 years old yet. Don't even say that to him or else I'll get pissed and be depressed. So Slugman is a guy that's a slug. He's a person slug. He's got like a regular human body. He's inside of a snail shell. And he's got those two antennas coming out and he's like, like on the ground, like sliding around like a slug. He's Slugman. He's slow. He's very tired all the time, he's not that healthy, he feels like he's kind of lost a step or two, he doesn't feel like he's the same slug that he was five, six, seven years ago, and it gets him down. You know, when you're a slug, life sucks when you're a slug, unless you're Earthworm Jim. And Earthworm Jim isn't even a slug, he's a fucking earthworm, so that's completely different. Earthworms live in the soil. And sometimes they get superhuman supersuits, and that's not- that doesn't happen to slugs. Slugman never had a superhuman supersuit, and it's kind of depressing. Has there ever been a slug that you've ever thought of or realized that wasn't Gary from Spongebob that was like a super-powered, awesome character? I mean, Gary's a cool character. Gary's a snail. They're still in the same family of bicuspids, or whatever family they happen to be part of. But wh wh whatever, regardless. Where am I going with this? What's the point of this video? The point of this video is, I'm Slugman. I have been Slugman for a very long time. For at least the last year or so, I haven't been very active. I've been letting my illnesses get me down. I've been feeling, like, weak and not like I was years ago, back when I felt great every day. And I changed it. I actually got off my slug ass, got out of the snail shell I was in, slid down the street on my slug ass face, and got to the gym for the first time in months. And I feel better than I have ever felt in the last at least 6 to 12 months. And I've tried. I've tried to go back previously, but it never really clicked, it never really locked into my brain. Hey, this is something that I want to do every day. I want to get out, I want to get active. When I can just say to myself, Nah, you know, I'll do that like next week. I'd rather sit down and drink like four sodas and stuff like my face with hamburgers. Oh, that's a great idea. Mmm. Actually, it's not a great idea. It's not a very good idea at all to just be sitting around like a slugman, not doing any activity. I wasn't doing any physical activity. The only physical activity I was really doing was getting up and walking around from my bathroom to here, my desk, and getting up and going in my car and driving places. Without the aforementioned couple of times that I tried to get back into the gym and try to be healthy, I was a slug. I, that's all I was doing. And I'm going to take a direct quote here from Benjamin Franklin, who just recently graced us at the Germa Rumble. And he actually said this backstage to Burger Boy, because Burger Boy was drinking like two or three milkshakes before he got called down. He walked up to Burger Boy and he said, Burger Boy! Everything in moderation, my friend. You shouldn't be doing that five minutes before the competition. And Burger Boy laughed in his face and said, <laughs> What do you know, Benjamin Franklin? And we all know what happened. Benjamin Franklin kicked his ass within 20 seconds of Burger Boy coming down to the arena. So Benjamin Franklin could have some merit with that quote. And it really just means, guys, not to go crazy with anything. Everything in moderation seriously just means... If you're gonna do something, if you're gonna be unhealthy for a day, then don't be unhealthy the next day. Go be active, go ride your bike, go play basketball, go to the gym, go do something that's not just sitting down eating hamburgers. And I did this for a long time, and I started to feel real bad. And it's my sort of PSA video for you guys, this little commentary here, is just find something active that you like to do, Get a couple of your friends together to see if they would like to do it too. Or even at your own house. At least like once or twice a week, just do something. It, it makes you feel so much better about life in general. 
when you are actively doing something. And I know the last few months it's been hard, at least up here in the Northeast. It's been really cold. And if you live in a really cold climate, it can be pretty difficult. But there are indoor places, there are indoor gyms that you can go to to do sort of different activities. And I highly recommend it because, my god, I feel like a Superman right now. Like, Superman! Away! Like, I feel like that right now. And I just can't believe that I ever let it get this far. That I ever took this much time away from doing anything physical, trying to get active. I died for too long. And now I understand what people mean when they say it just piles on top of each other. You don't even realize it's happening until a year goes by, two years goes by, whatever, and you just look at the clock and look at the date and you're like, wait a second. Has it really been that long since this? That I, I did that? I understand that now because I did it. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys all next time. And of course, take care, everybody. We're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more. No, I can't do it. I can't do one more. You can do one more. You're gonna do one more. Okay. I, uh, I can do it. Come on. Uh, uh, yeah.